Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I adore thee profoundly. I offer thee the most precious body and blood, soul and divinity of Jesus Christ present in all the tabernacles of the world in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences by which he is offended. And through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and of the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg of thee the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. Sancti Michael Arcangeli, defendi nos in prerio, contra nequitiam et insidias diaboli esto presidium, imperatiri Deus supicest de precamor, tuque princeps minitiae celestis, satana mariosque spiritus malignos, quid perditionem animarum pervacantur in mundo, divina virtute in inferno vitrude. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us. As we prepare to enter into these glorious mysteries, we have the tremendous joy today of praying in thanksgiving to God for the fact that the Vatican announced that on March the 25th, on the great feast of the Annunciation, now just nine days away, or just 10 days away from today, the Holy Father will consecrate Russia to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart. And I can't thank each one of you enough for all the prayers you've been offering throughout these past two years for that intention. And we should redouble our prayers during these nine days. We're, we're going to make a novena beginning today until the day before the Annunciation to ask that this intention be protected, that indeed the consecration of Russia to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart take place. Uh, as most of you know, and for those who don't, I'll say a few words at the end of the Rosary, this is something Our Lady asked at Fatima and promised tremendous graces if this were done, especially the triumph of Our Lady's Immaculate Heart and all that would come from that. And so let us pray with special thanksgiving to God for this, uh, this beautiful fruit of our prayer, the prayer we've been saying every day. And, and of course, not just us, many, many people, throughout the world. We're probably only a small part of that. But God, we should thank Him for having heard our prayer. And let's offer this novena beginning today, uh, the novena that will consist simply of the prayer we have been saying. I can't think of any better prayer than the one written by Bishop Schneider that we pray at the end of every Holy Rosary. And uh, in addition to this great intention of thanksgiving, this great petition for the consecration of Russia, there are many intentions from throughout the world. Uh, I'll, I'll read only a portion of them, but so many to pray for. And so among them, there's a 13-year-old young man, Sonny, who today is having uh, a biopsy for, for a serious illness. And so for this 13-year-old young man, that if it be God's will, he might be healed, and regardless that his soul might be strengthened with the graces that come from Christ to pursue holiness. Then for Carl and Beverly, who along with their daughter, Rochelle, pray with us from Fremont every day. And their 50th wedding anniversary is this Friday. And so Carl and Beverly, congratulations on faithfulness and marriage for 50 years. Uh, already a couple days in advance, I'm going to ask everyone to pray for you today that God might strengthen your married love for one another. Uh, sometimes a married couple can think, well, this is probably not your case, but if it is, sometimes a married couple can think that, well, now our primary mission is done. But in fact, spiritually, you can have an extremely important mission, uh, just as Abraham did. 
at a time, you could say, past retirement age, but an extremely important mission for the salvation of the world. And so may God strengthen your married love, grant you joy, and especially growth in holiness. Then for many others um, in need of healing, including uh, the husband of Maureen, uh, who just had a heart surgery yesterday morning, for Jamal, who is a young man with a young family who was just diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. And so uh, it sounds like Jamal has a strong faith, but that's a very heavy cross for a father of a young family so that God might strengthen him and guide you, Jamal. Um, if it be God's will, he grants you healing, but especially strengthen you for growth and holiness that you might be a source of many graces for your family. Uh, for Joseph, age 29, who's in the hospital after a severe reaction to the booster shot, for so many others in need of healing. And then for a young couple that prays with us every day from Florida, who just lost their home because of a tornado. So Lord, Lourdes, uh, God bless you and your young family. They're temporarily in a hotel with their two-year-old son. And so we're going to pray for you right now that God might send his angels to watch over you and guide you um, and protect your family towards safety and especially protect your hearts and souls. And then last but not least, for a young mother, uh, a young mother named Kate, who I'll withhold some of your information, even though you gave permission to share this publicly, but Kate just had her fourth baby named Joseph, which is a beautiful name uh, for any baby, any young man. And Kate writes in very honestly, saying, I've been riddled with fear the past few years. Joseph is just starting with a fresh cold. He's four weeks old. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and I love being a mom. And she's been trying to pray the rosary with us every day. I'm just always fighting fear for the worst. Could you please pray for Joseph and for all mothers in our world who are fighting fear but trying to do God's will? Indeed, Kate, we'll certainly pray for that. There's an aspect of any motherly heart which, which feels fear and concern for her children. That's very normal to have those emotions come in. Um, but in the depth of your soul, it's always possible whenever you wish to choose to make an act of faith in God, to choose to make an act of hope in God. And those acts of faith and hope in Him, even if you have to make them a thousand times a day, in spite of your emotions, become very powerful offerings. And so don't be concerned so much if your emotions go up and down. Um, the key is to, over and over again, with the help of Our Lady, say, I know with God all things are possible. I trust in you. I believe in you. I hope in you. And little by little, every time you make those simple acts, then Our Lady will guide you towards a stronger faith, a stronger hope. And so I'm going to ask everyone from throughout the world to pray for you right now, Kate, as a young mother, and for all young mothers who are struggling in that way. And so let's begin now, as always, with the prayer for the unborn children and then the prayer for the holy souls in purgatory. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. Eternal Father, we offer you the most precious body and blood, soul and divinity of your divine Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in union with all the holy masses which are said throughout the world, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my own family. Amen. And let's pause as always and take this minute of silence now to leave aside every other consideration and simply focus on the living presence of Jesus Christ, the living presence of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Punctius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord from the dead. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, an increase of faith. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thine mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord into heaven, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thine mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Ghost upon the apostles and the Blessed Virgin Mary. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, zeal for the salvation of souls. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thine mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Our Lady into Heaven. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, true devotion to Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thine mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the crowning of Our Lady, Queen of Heaven and Earth. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, the grace of final perseverance. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thine mercy. And now the prayer we've been praying every day, but we pray with the particular intention in this first day of the Novena of preparing for the consecration of Russia to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart. O Immaculate Heart of Mary, you are the Holy Mother of God and our tender mother. Look upon the distress in which the Church and the Holy Humanity are living because of the spread of materialism and the persecution of the Church. In Fatima, you warned against these errors as you spoke about the errors of Russia. You are the mediatrix of all graces. Implore your divine Son to grant this special grace for the Pope, that he might consecrate Russia to your Immaculate Heart, so that Russia will be converted, a period of peace will be granted to the world, and your Immaculate Heart will triumph through an authentic renewal of the Church in the splendor of the purity of the Catholic faith, of the sacredness of divine worship, and of the holiness of the Christian life. O Queen of the Holy Rosary and our sweet Mother, turn your merciful eyes to us and graciously hear this, our trusting prayer. Amen. Mm -hmm. Ave Regina Celorum, Ave Domina Angelorum, Salve Radix, Salve Porta, Ex qua mundo lux est torta, Gaude Virgo Gloriosa, Super omne speciosa, Vale ovalde decora, E pro nobis Christum ex ora. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God, through the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, pour out His graces upon each one of your families. Benedictio Dei Omnipotentis, Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos et maniat semper. Amen. And I'll take a few minutes now for those who wish to say a few words of explanation about the consecration of Russia to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart. But first of all, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your prayers throughout these past two years in this Our Lady of Fatima Rosary Crusade. Um, it's a tremendous joy for me to know that our, the intention right now, the stated intention of our Holy Father is to consecrate Russia to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart on just 10 days from now, on the Feast of the Annunciation. And so let us pray for that each day uh, leading up to that great day of grace. So for those who wish, and I'm speaking now without having taken notes and, and rather tired, but I want at least say a few words so my thoughts may not be as clear as I'd like, but what is the consecration of Russia to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart? Well, in Fatima, the great apparitions of Fatima to the three children, Our Lady uh, made the request that the Holy Father consecrate Russia to her Immaculate Heart and that he do so in union with the bishops all over the world. And she said if that request was heeded, then Russia would be converted and the world would be granted a period of peace and her Immaculate Heart would triumph. If not, Russia would spread her errors throughout the world. Unfortunately, that consecration was not done in the early part of the 20th century, and 
the results of the spread of communism are there for all to see. In 1984, John Paul II made a consecration of the entire world to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart, but did not mention Russia by name. And uh, that would be a longer discussion, but Sister Lucia said that the, the consecration was received by heaven. And to make this brief, the best scholars, and Cardinal Burke being among them who have spoken publicly even very recently, said that heaven did receive that prayer, um, that consecration of the world, but yet it was not yet done as Our Lady requested. And so the fullness of the promises of Fatima had not yet come about, um, which, which is evident for all to see, really, in terms of the consecration of Russia and a true period of peace, not yet having been granted to the world in the triumph of Our Lady's Immaculate Heart. And so Cardinal Burke, among others, has been calling for this consecration to be done. And mysteriously, in God's divine providence, through the request of the bishops of the Ukraine just a few weeks ago, asking the Holy Father to consecrate Russia to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart, he said yes, that he would on the Feast of the Annunciation, do so to consecrate Russia along with Ukraine. And so we should pray for that, that that, that indeed come to pass. What will happen if that consecration is made? Uh, it's, I don't know exactly how concretely God will respond. We know that, for example, in 1984, when that consecration was done by John Paul II, we didn't see immediately, visibly, um, dramatic results. And yet, just shortly after that consecration, things were put in motion in Russia that led to the, the changes, especially beginning in 1985, which led to the Iron Curran, Curtain falling peacefully um, just a few years later, and so forth. And so it could be that the results of this consecration we won't see immediately. But let us pray, and let us pray with faith and trust in Our Lady's words. And I should also mention, part of the request at Fatima, of course, was that men reform their lives, was conversion, was the first Saturday devotion. So that part of Our Lady's request certainly has been answered imperfectly. And so exactly what heaven's response will be, I don't know, but it surely would be a tremendous grace for the world if the Holy Father does consecrate Russia to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart on March the 25th. And so I'll stop there, and we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the Holy Rosary. God bless you.